It's the Indian Idol versus the Indian Taliban. And I want to go across live and exclusive at this time to Nahid Afreen. She's the teen sensation from Indian Idol. She's the girl from Akira who was Sunakshi Sinha's voice. She's joining us on this broadcast. 46 fatwas against one 16-year-old girl. And she's standing up to them, looking them in the eye and saying, if they are 10 against me, they are 90 speaking for me. Naid Afreen, welcome to India today. And I must begin by saluting and commending the kind of courage that you've shown. Standing up to the fanatics, telling them that you will not <laughs> let your will be crushed, no matter how many fatwas they issue. Welcome, Naid. Yes, thanks a lot. And uh, first of all, I would like to uh, pay my I would like to give my regards to all the Indians and the people of Assam for uh, sh for giving me so much of courage and encouragement the, throughout my musical journey. And I hope they would continue this. They would continue encouraging me and inspiring me uh, in my near future too. Naid, tell me, when these fatwas came out, I have these fatwas, they are issued in Bengali, I want to show them to our viewers. There are 46 clerics who have signed against this. Do you ever feel that so many fatwas will come to you and you will have to fight with them? Because, you know, you are singing some lovely bhajans, you are singing some songs now in Bollywood as well, making a bit of a splash, people are loving your voice. And suddenly have all these clerics come pounce on you. Do you ever think that what you are doing, can this be an impact on it? No, no, I have never thought of it. I have never thought of it any day in my life. And it was a sudden happening actually. Last night I came to know about it by watching it in one of the Assamese news channels. Even uh, I was shocked and both my mother and father, they, they began to cry by looking at me. I was in such a condition that neither I can speak a word nor I could do anything. But just I cried and cried and cried. But um, after that immediately I got, uh, I got a call from our Honorable Chief Minister, Sir Sarvananda Sunwal, sir. He called me and he encouraged me a lot. And then again, uh, I got uh, calls from all the legendary dignitaries of Assam and all the legendary singers of Assam. And today, in the morning, uh, mo in the morning hours, I got uh, I, I got a phone call from Vishal Dadlani sir too. And even the way he encouraged me and inspired me, it was um, I'm really thankful to him. I'm really grateful to Vishal sir and all all my well wishers and all my fans. Uh, thanks a lot for supporting me so much. And uh, I would I like to all say that, those clerics, uh, the right, the hardline yeah. people who are, you know, who are issuing these fatwas against you, and they're in a minority. Those who are watching you and those who support yeah. you, what do you wish to say to those who oppose you, to those who believe that there is no place for music in Islam, okay. that singing and dancing is un-Islamic? What do you wish to say to all these clerics? Yeah, I would like to say that music has no religion and uh, also I take music as a medium through which I can reach God, I can connect to God, I can feel God through music and uh, I hope the people who have opposed me or who, ha who stand against me would definitely understand what I have pointed out and uh, I would like to tell them uh, and actually I would like to offer them a big thanks because by saying such uh, uh, harsh words and sentences against me, they are uh, uh, they are uh, encouraging me to mm, to walk through the right path. Actually, I'll be encouraged a lot to work more for the people of Assam, to work more for the people of India through my singing, through my music. And yes, I have a dream to do something for my motherland, uh, for my mother India uh, through music and I hope someday I will come out with flying uh, colors and flying wings and um, I would, Fantastic I would also speaking like to, to you. request them you know, you're, you're in the 10th standard and look at the maturity, the grace with which you're responding to these hardliners. I hope that they learn some 
something from this young girl. Thank stay you. with stay with me, Naid. I want to continue this conversation. Joining us at this time is Maulana Maksud Ul Hasan Khazmi. He is the chairman of the Imam Council of India. You know, we're seeing young Nahid with so much innocence say that singing is not un-Islamic, that this is the voice of God, this is the job of God, and that why is it that these 46 clerics have come out and issued this fatwa against a terribly, terribly unfortunate this, Maulana Sahab. I was speaking to you earlier this afternoon and you said you agree with these Maulanas who've come out with this fatwa. Why do you support this fatwa, sir? Uh, Rahul, first of all, uh, this uh, girl, this is individual matter, she is free to do anything she wants. But if anybody approach Kileric and ask the whether dancing, nude activities and are allowed in Islam, so ultimately and obviously the, the reply is, answer is that Islam doesn't allow such type of activities. Like if I ask you, the top most journalists of the country, Supari journalism is allowed in our country or not? What your response will be? Say hey, one second. Maulana sir, Maulana sir, so one second. First and foremost, there is no generic. comparison between Supari journalism and what uh, young Nahid Afrin is doing. You are saying that she is singing in the nude. Have you even seen some of the lovely bhajans no. she sings. Have you seen her in this image next to Sunakshi Sinha? She is looking so graceful. She is not in the nude no, no, and whether no. she can sing in the nude or not is a whole different debate which I am not even getting into. I am looking only at what she is doing. Nothing that she has done so far to me appears to be unreligious or anti-religion. Why then should these Maulanas be taking the kind of Talibani position that they have? Rahul, Rahul, these Islamic views are not new. And despite them, that old and centuries, there was music and so many things Rafi used to do. But despite all, despite all such fatwas and music was going on, used to go on. So you just ignore them and it is only, we are entitled to express our view in peaceful way. I am asking you and this girl had these these clerics attacked her, had these clerics threatened her, had they threatened her, intimidated her, only simple way, very peaceful way, they have expressed their views and Islam... Maulana Sahib, Maulana Sahib, Maulana Sahib, let's not be ridiculous. Maulana Sahib, let's not be ridiculous. 46 clerics in a small town in Assam come out and pass a fatwa against a teenager. You are saying this is not intimidation? You are saying this is not an attempt to browbeat her? This is not an attempt to kill her spirit? You are supposed to say, okay, young girl, forget these clerics. Forget the fact that society is ganging up against you. Ignore these clerics. What are you even saying, Maulana Sahib? Please try and make some sense. You are, crush, you are trying to crush the will of a young girl. No, no, no. Rahul, Rahul, I am asking you. And I am asking, accusing you on 8th of the March, this month March, in Bihar, Union Minister Giriraj Singh, in his address, has called Hindu to boycott birthday, saying that it is against Islamic, against Hindu principle. And all Hindus should unite to eradicate, to get away the celebration of birthday, birth celebration in India. Why did you not raise this issue? Why did you not have debate on him? Because the central minister, a union minister of Narendra Modi, is calling for him, calling Hindu to buy cars. Where, where is the comparison, Malana Sahab? Where it is, is not, the comparison? Why are you drawing a false equivalence? If somebody is saying no, that they should, no, 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 no. Somebody the saying don't celebrate birthdays. That, that is one minister's view. Tradition. It should be rejected. It should be cast aside. Here is one young girl. Aspersions are being cast but, against her. In a small society, you, you, are you are making it seem, you are telling her that you are doing something wrong. You How, don't counter him. I will counter him just as strongly as I will counter you. I say, one second, do not dare, sir. do not dare. Watch where you go, Maulana. Do not dare but say we engage in Supari journalism because that is the last thing that we do. 
Maulana Kazmi, mind your words. I will not accept this. If you are on our channel, you will behave yourself, Maulana Sahab. You will behave yourself. I will not take this from you. I will not take this from anybody. You will behave yourself and you will stay in line. I will not have you try and make such insinuations totally unfounded in truth. The India Today group and its journalism stands and speaks for itself. I no, need no why, certificate why you from you. I am saying that if you Giriraj Singh said what Giriraj. he said, that is you wrong. You I am to saying, the of my country. one second, Maulana Kazmi, I am saying, if Giriraj the Singh said something issue, like this, why don't you hear me? Maulana Sahib, listen to me. Maulana Sahib, listen to me. Turn that audio man. down. Turn that audio down. Maulana Sahib, you can't be heard right now. You will listen to my question and then you will respond. Maulana Sahib, you can shout but you can't be heard. So you will listen to me and then you will respond. I am saying that Giriraj Singh, if he said this, he is out of line. Birthdays, whether they are celebrated or not, should be a person's personal choice. The fact that you are not willing to condemn these Maulanas, I question that. You are saying ignore the Maulanas, I am saying condemn the Maulanas. You are the chairman of the Imam Council of India. You should, Maulana, be saying that I condemn these Maulanas for what they've done. Will you do that? Yeah, I, I am from the very beginning pointing out that the Maulana, in a peaceful way, has expressed their Islamic point of view. But same way the Giri Singh did on 8th of the March. But why did you not take up this issue of Giriraj Singh? I am accusing you of bigotry from your side. Oh, there is no bigotry. What you are indulging in is bigotry. You are trying to draw a false equivalence. That is what is unacceptable. I want to go across no, to Shazia no. Ilmi of the BJP. She is joining us on this broadcast. No, 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 you, you are listening to Maulana Maksud Ul Hassan Kasmi. He is saying that ignore, ignore, ignore what this Maulana has said. He is saying that he has just expressed his Islamic views. Uh, the girl should not worry about it. Do you think that it's as simple as that or should they actually be taking a position? He's saying this is what Islam says, that Naj Gana is not okay. The Maulanas are expressing that. Afrin, uh, the young girl should continue Afrin as if nothing has happened. Shazia Ilmi, how do you respond to the Maulana? No, first of all, I want to say that I stand by Nahid Afrin and the rest of the country does, save for these uh, few obscurantist Maulanas who have no relevance whatsoever. To my plea to all the Maulanas that not to be like politicians, you know, why are they getting BGP, Congress, everybody into the picture or any minister who has said something which he should not have said or should have said. The fact of the matter is we can't let, let obscurantism of this kind go out of hand. Next there will be a fatwa on all girls who want to, who want to go out without a burqa. They will say don't shake hands. They will say don't celebrate Holi or Diwali. They will say, so they, there is no end to it. So the fact, why you are a politician, sir? Sir, you are a Maulana. Why are you not talking about the Maulana? Why are you talking about the Maulana? Why are you talking about the Maulana? Why are you talking about the BJP? Look at yourself. Look at the community. There is a child who is doing the desire of the Maulana. She has a song. 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 Support her. You should have a shame. In the truth. There are such children who are in the Muslim society who want to express themselves through music. What is wrong with that? I mean, I don't understand why we are doing, what are we doing to these young minds? Instead of pouncing on young Afrin, you should say, come on, child, you are singing, you are doing a good job, we encourage you. Instead of that, you are pouncing on her. Shazia says, you should say, come on, child. What is the issue? They are getting hit. Come on, child. I am saying that the shame is going to come to these people. You are sending a message, you are sending a message, you are sending a message. This is the issue of the country, and this is the issue of their education. उनको जहेज ये भी इशू है सॉरी ये भी इशू है सारे इशू हैं आप कोई नहीं बताने वाले रियल इशू कौन है ये भी रियल इशू है ये भी रियल इशू है आप इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते मौलाना साहब ये भी हो रहा है वो भी हो रहा है जो गलत है सब में हिम्मत है ये आप में हिम्मत नहीं है आप में हिम्मत नहीं है आप डर गए हैं आप एक आप एक छोटी सी बच्ची से डरे हुए हैं आप डरपोस आदमी हैं आप एक छोटी सी बच्ची से डर गए हैं हम्बल क्योंकि वो आपके फतवाओं को इंकार कर रही है कि आप डरपोस इंसान हैं बुजदल हैं आप आप बुजदल इंसान हैं बुजदल हैं आप आप सबसे बड़े बुजदल हैं आप बच्ची को अटैक कर रहे हैं आप सबसे बड़े बुजदल हैं आपको शर्म आनी चाहिए आप इसका इंसाफ करते हैं जहेज के नाम पर और सब जो जाया जा रहा है उसको खत्म किया जा रहा है। आप बहुत बड़े फ्रॉड हैं। 
भाई साहब आप मौजू में बात नहीं अरे आप आप करने आए हैं और बच्ची के बारे में बोलने आए हैं फर्क इतना ही है आप देख रहे हैं कि किस तरीके से ये मौलाना मेरे को लगता है डिलिबरेटली पोलिटिसाइज कर रहे हैं कि यंग लड़की की आवाज को दबाने की कोशिश ताकि आपकी जो हसरतें हैं आपकी जो उम्मीदें हैं कहीं ना कहीं उसको कुचल दिया जाए इन सिर्फ ट्राइंग टू अप्रिशिएट एंड सपोर्ट वॉट यूर डूइंग वॉट यूर डूइंग देर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू प्रिवेंट दिस फ्रॉम हैपनिंग वेरी वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट दिस नाइट आ, मैं आ, एक ही सेंटेंस बोलना चाहूंगी हमारे कुरान शरीफ में एक सेंटेंस है खुबुल वतन ईमान इसका मीनिंग यही है अगर इफ वी वर्क फॉर द पीपल इफ वी लव पीपल देन दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ ईमान और एंड आई लव पीपल आई एम अ फिलानथ्रॉपिस्ट एंड मैं अपने नेशन के लिए कुछ करना चाहती हूँ अपने लोकेलिटी के लिए आसाम के लिए इंडिया के लिए कुछ करना चाहती हूँ और जो कि मुझे आई लव माई मदर इंडिया एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेक म्यूजिक एज माई वेपन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गिफ्ट इंडिया समथिंग थ्रू माई म्यूजिक अगर म्यूजिक को मैं अप्लाई करके अगर मैं कुछ लोगों के लिए मगर मैं कुछ करने की कोशिश करूं, देन आई थिंक म्यूजिक इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द ईमान टू इफ आई टेक इट इन दैट वे बहुत एंड uh, आपकी सोच बहुत बड़ी है बोला है कि मौलाना लोग कहते हैं कि वो लोग मौलाना लोग कहते हैं मीडियम टू कनेक्ट अल्लाह सही कह रही हैं आप मौलाना लोग सोचते हैं कि इन्होंने बहुत तालीम बोलना चाहती हूँ जो मुझे लगता है कि इनसे कई ज्यादा और एक चीज मैं बोलना चाहूंगी हमारे जो अरेबिक अरेबिक सॉन्ग्स है उसमें भी हमारे म्यूजिक का जो सात स्वर है सारे गामा पाधानी इनका इन सब स्वरों का समाहार हो के एक गाना सृष्टि होता है तो बहुत सारे अरेबिक वैसे सॉन्ग्स भी और इंडियन सॉन्ग्स भी है मौला मेरे मौला ये सब नाहिद मुझ ना, नाहिद मुझे ये बताइए क्या आपके जहन में कोई भजन या कोई गाना आता है इस वक्त जब लोग आपको एक तरीके से अटैक कर रहे हैं लेकिन आपकी तरफ से गाने के जरिए क्या पैगाम है इन लोगों को आ, मैं एक अरेबिक गाना ही गुनगुनाना चाहती हूँ अगर इजाजत हो तो गो फॉर इट नाहिद मौला वसली वसलिम दाई मन अबद आल हबीबी का खैर खलक खुल्ली ही मी मौला वसली वसलिम दाई मन अबद आल हबीबी का खैर खलक खुल्ली ही मी मोहम्मद बहुत खूब गाती हैं यू नो यूर रियली अर ट्रू टैलेंट एंड इट्स फैंटेस्टिक द पीपल इन आर न्यूज रूम लिस्निंग टू यू दे आर क्लैपिंग एज यू सिंग अलॉन्ग एंड आपने एक अरबिक में गाना गाया आई एम ऑल्सो बींग टोल्ड दैट आप वैष्णवाइट सेंट हैं श्रीमंत शंकर देवा उनके भी आप भजन भी गाती हैं सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट अरबिक आप भजन भी गाती हैं कुछ आप भजन गुनगुना के सुनाएंगी ताकि ये निकल के आए कि यू नो यू यू ट्रोवर्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ रिलीजन एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ मैसेजेस Yeah, and as I have mentioned about the uh, Vaishnavite religion, my Assam is जो बॉर्गी था, वो थोड़ा मैं गुनगुनाने की कोशिश करती हूँ। Please go for it. Hello. 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 Hello.
You have a beautiful, beautiful voice, and it's fantastic. I mean, actually, I'm nobody to sit in on judgment on anybody else's singing, but you just have the most delightful voice. Maulana Saab, kuch sikhe naahit se. Arabic gana bhi gati hai, bhajan bhi gati hai. Kuch sikhe, prerna lije and spread the message of peace, spread the message of love. Usko attack karne ke bajaye, usko encourage kijiye, Maulana Saab. Kuch sikhe naahit se. आप आप इसका मतलब आप पूरे पूरे देश के मुसलमानों को पूरे देश के धर्मानों को हिंदू हिंदुत्व धर्म को अपनाने की की तरजीब दे दें ये कर दें पूरे मुसलमान मालाना साहब का मान अपना लें कोई नहीं अपनाने को कह रहा तलवार रख ले नहीं सर आपकी गर्दन पे कोई तलवार नहीं रख रहा मैं कह रहा हूँ अगर वो गा रही है अरे जनाब कैसी बातें कर रहे हैं शाह लेके किधर जाना चाह रहे हैं लेट लेट आई डोंट वांट टू इंगेज इन अ डिबेट विद यू लेट शाह जी आर रिस्पॉन्ड टू व्हाट यू सिंग शाह जी आ रही है उसको अरे आपको पेट में क्या दर्द हो रहा है वो गा रही है तो अगर वो गा रही है तो आपको पेट में कौन दर्द हो रहा है आपको नहीं गाना मौलाना जी आप मत गाओ आपको पेट में क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रही है वो गा रही है उसको गाने दो आप उसको क्यों रोकते हो हम कहा हम कहा मना कर रहे हैं आप उसके ऊपर तलवार डाल रहे हैं छियालीस मौलवी मिलकर उसको धमका रहे हैं उसको डरा रहे हैं और क्या कर रहे हैं लेट शाहिया रिस्पॉन्ड टू वॉट यूर सही मैं इस्लामिक शाहिया अगर इस्लामिक ओपिनियन आप पहुंचोगे तो वो तो बताएंगे ना बहुत ही बहुत ही अफसोस आप इस्लामिक बात नहीं कर रहे हैं आप देखिए सबका मजहब राहुल इज वेरी क्लियर देर इज नो प्लेस फॉर क्लाजी और क्लाजी इन इस्लाम Everybody's religion is between them and their God. Absolutely. Have we heard Nahid uh, Afrin sing? What a beautiful voice, and she connects. She connects to the Almighty through her music. That is that is a connection. That is her ibadat. And everybody has as a right Why? to connect with God or the Almighty or the Divine in their unique way. And I, it's so sad. आपका दिमाग इतना सुकुड़ गया है मौलाना साहब. छोटा सा दिमाग आपका हो गया है. सोच भी छोटी हो गई है पता नहीं कैसी आपकी तरबियत है क्या बच्चियों को बच्चों को टैलेंट उनके टैलेंट के हिसाब से ना तो आगे बढ़ने दे रहे हैं और रोशन ख्याली की तरफ नहीं आप अंधकार की तरफ जा रहे हैं कोई हिंदू मुसलमान ऐसे नहीं बनता है उसको आपका नहीं नहीं आप पता नहीं क्या बोलते हैं भाई साहब आप बहुत अफसोस की बात है मुझे मैं आपकी तरफ से मैं इनकी तरफ से अपने मुसलमान साथियों और हिंदू साथियों को माफी मांगती हूँ मैं आपकी तरफ से माफी मांगती हूँ आपने बहुत गलत आपने बहुत गलत बात कही है हम भारत देश में रहते हैं मैं आपकी तरफ से माफी मांगती हूँ क्योंकि आपने कहा आप सब मुसलमानों को कह रहे हैं कि हिंदुत्व अपनाने के लिए इस्लामिक राय शाजिया से पूछी आप कोई भी इस्लामिक राय बताने वाले राहुल आप कोई किसी को नहीं कह रहा है आप किसी राय सुननी चाहिए मौलाना साहब कोई किसी को नहीं बोल रहा है नहीं 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 मौलाना साहब कैसी बातें कर रहे अरे क्या मौलाना साहब मौलाना साहब क्या हो गया आपको मौलाना साहब आई रियली डोंट नो व्हाट ट्रिप यूर ऑन कोई किसी को नहीं कह रहा है कि आप दूसरे का रिलीजन अपनाइए यू नो लुक एट यंग अफरीन लुक एट वॉट्स गोइंग टर्न दोज ऑडियो फेडर्स डाउन इन कंक्लूजन ऑल आई वॉन्ट से इज अफरीन एवरी वन हु वॉचिंग दिस इज वन विद यू दे अप्रिशिएट द पोजिशन दैट यू हैव टेकन and the fact that you've shown courage and strength and i think what's very important afrin and for everyone else is for people to support what you're saying instead of try and pounce on this young girl support what she's saying afrin shazia ne kaha ki wo maafi mang rahi hai maulana saab ke aada ke basis pe i can tell you that the maulana represents a very small minority the majority of the people watching this the majority of right thinking mm, sensible people are fully on your side afrin More power to you. More power to your music. 
thank you so much and uh, even i would like to say a sorry to maulana sahab if i have uh, made any mistake in my speech then uh, please forgive me and uh, i offer my salam to him assalam alaikum and i respect you a lot thank you afreen you don't owe an apology it's the maulanas who owe owe an apology to you you're being so magnanimous and so gracious by offering to apologize is the maulanas who owe an apology to you okay tell me we've spoken about the serious aspects of the political part of this debate so nakshi sinha has said that she is a big fan of yours you were in uh, her movie akira you sang a song there as well so you got big bollywood plans and i hope that I none of none of what's happened deters you vishal dadlani has been speaking in your favor kailash kher has spoken in your favor so i hope not, we will end with a musical note from afreen and i hope that none of this deters you at all i am requesting for a small number from akira as we end this rather raucous totally unwarranted attack on young afreen afreen over to you for akira oh sir sure. hairan hmm. jise tere mere darmiya जिंदगी अब तू जिले मैं सांस लू जिद कह जिद करना अजर अजरज के मैनू चाहे रुला अजर अजरज के मैनू दे दे सदा अजर अजरज के दिल सहने लगा दर्द बेदरदा थैंक यू Nahid Afreen it's been a delight and a pleasure having you with us on India today you've just got a new fan and a lot of people around in our newsroom are clapping can we just turn around and can we have a round of applause for young Afreen please from the India today newsroom a big 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 so round of applause for Afreen this is for the Maulana there you, and for everybody else who believe that Afreen's voice should be quashed Afreen's voice should not be quashed more power to afreen more power to others like her thank you so much just, afreen just for joining us just please see me i i request everyone to just bless me this is the greatest thing i would ever request for actually just keep blessing that's it all our blessings and lot of our love nice afreen for joining us in india today thank you very much